Hey friends, uh, today in writing, I want to review what we talked about yesterday. So if you look here at the screen, um, I'm showing a picture of what I showed you yesterday, which is the writing process. Uh, my computer will only show you part of it at a time. But remember, we talked about how we go through steps together to do writing. And the first thing we do together is we pre-write. We come up with ideas. So for our um, how-to books, we came up with a list of things we can do independently, that sort of thing. Then we draft. Draft is writing. Drafting is getting words down on paper. Then we go to this part, which we're focused on now, called revise. Now, the last thing, just a quick reminder, we go back and forth between drafting and revising and between these areas a lot. So this week when you're revising, you might revise one story one day and switch to another one the next. And that is totally okay. So remember, so what we've done is, right, we've done some pre-writing. We gathered ideas. You did a draft, right? You've written out your ideas. And now we're going to revise it. We're going to make it better. And, rem and now let's take a look at the list of what we came up with yesterday of ways to make it better. So here's our list of ways to revise to make our writing better. The first we can do is we can add important details. When we've been talking about how to, sometimes that's been specific instructions like opening jars. But maybe if it's a story about playing a game with your sister, it's telling me what game you played. Who won the game? Was it close? I don't know. What thing, other important details? Another thing you might do is add speech or dialogue. This might be in your picture with a speech bubble. It might be in words and you might use quotation marks. Someone yesterday said, describe the things around you. Use descriptive language to tell us what's there. Don't just say, I put on my hat. Tell me about that hat. Was it warm? Was it cozy? Was it fuzzy? Really describe the things. A fourth thing you can do is add action. Have people do things. This line I wrote here was to remind me about the sort of action that Mo adds to his writing with the lines, sort of like here at the start of the book we read today. And then another thing you could do is be really, really exact in your language. Now, to do this today, what I'm going to do is I'm looking at a piece I wrote the other day. I'm going to read it to you. It says, next, we played a game called Cahoots. We won the game. It was a cooperative game. And I'm going to think, huh, what can I add? Ooh, I'm going to add speech. I'm going to add, that's going to make it better. So I'm going to add the line. I'm going to say, we won, I said. Let's add that right now. We won, I said. Ooh. We won. I said, boom, we won. I said, now I can add that to my picture too. Revising is adding things and improving them to make your writing better and more interesting. First graders, go ahead and make sure you do some awesome revising today. Bye, friends.